Hey, this is Sam from Other Side Gaming, and welcome back to Respect Your Elders. Today we're going to be talking about Ninja Gaiden on the NES. This game is known for... Oh, hey, dog. Anyways, this game is known for its relentless difficulty. And when I say difficult, I mean ridiculous fuck hard. It will kill you in your sleep on Christmas. Because this is America. Yeah, okay, that was kind of bad taste. Anyways, uh, so with that, how about we pop this son of a bitch in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Oh, Ninja Gaiden, how I love you. And hate you with a burning passion at the same time. This is a game that will haunt you at night. You'll love it, but you'll also hate it. It is quite simply a masterpiece of a game. Back in 1988, an arcade game going by the name of Ninja Gaiden was released around the world. It was more of a Double Dragon style beat em up that was soon to be all the rage. In the game, you're a nameless ninja beating the crap of people in the good old USA. And that's all you really need to know about this game. This was the game that would spawn the Ninja Gaiden games. It was a decent game in itself, and if you'd like to play it, there's a port on the Wii Virtual Console. Fast forward one year later, Ninja Gaiden was given the game on the NES. Instead of being like its arcade counterpart, it was a side-scroller. Not only that, but you were also given a name, Ryu Hayabusa, who then became the series protagonist. The game starts out with an epic duel to the death. Ryu finds a note from his father saying that he was going to a life-or-death duel. Ryu's father, Ken, is killed, and Ryo wants revenge. Ryo then sets off for America to avenge his death. But it's easier said than done. Ninja Gaiden is known for its relentless difficulty. This game is ball-busting hard. I mean, this game will bend you over and piss in your fart box hard. Yeah, it's tough. But it's not because of the controls, because they are extremely tight. The reason why this game is fuck ridiculous hard is because of two things. One, every time you are hit by an enemy, you are knocked back. This wouldn't be such a big deal if there weren't fucking pits of death everywhere. Nine times out of ten, this is how you're gonna die. You'll probably even forget that you, this game even has a life bar. And second, if an enemy is even close to the edge of the screen, it will respawn. Infinitely. It's just fucking annoying. Well, now that I'm done bitching about the difficulty, how about I actually talk about the rest of the game? The graphics and musical score sound amazing. Not only that, but this was one of the first games to use cutscenes to tell a story, which at the time was revolutionary. It was like watching a movie, only it would be a movie that looks like crap compared to today's standards. But it was still amazing. It was also amazing for its time. The music is overall just kick-ass, and it totally sets the tone for a ninja rampage. So how can you get your hands on this wonderful game? Well, you have a lot of options. You can buy the original cartridge, which is my preferred method. There was a compilation game on the three Ninja Gaiden games on the SNES, but the thing is that it's extremely rare, and it's gonna cost you a shit ton of money. Just to get your hands on it. You could always unlock it in the Xbox game Ninja Gaiden Black, but that game's just as hard as this one is, and maybe even more. Mostly because of the goddamn camera. And, if you prefer to download such things, there's always the three Ninja Gaidens are all on the Wii's virtual console. And then there's always emulation. And you know how I feel about that. So, anyways, this has been Sam from Other Side Gaming, and if you haven't thought about your ancestors lately, think again.